everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Vintage Cottage and I am going to attempt my first um, kind of craft with me as I work through making um, this next uh, linen uh, journal that I'm going to make uh, that I showed you a vi video of um, yesterday of the things that are going to go into it. I'm going to start by doing something small. It's a lace covered envelope and this is not my idea. I actually saw um, in a video that Aosier did of some journals that she did and she had a, a, a fabric covered envelope. So I tried it. Actually that's how I my prototype was in my um, boho journal. Oh by the way thank you everybody for your wonderful comments about my boho journal. I, I really appreciate it. It mean, means a lot to me to get the, the encouragement. Um, anyway I saw her do something similar in her journal and that's where I got the idea from. So I want to do that with this lace doily. Um, I picked an envelope that looks like it's going to fit and it is a kind of a darker color so that the lace will will show through. Um, I originally picked a white envelope and that didn't that didn't look good. So I am going to very carefully take it apart at the seams. Trying not to rip it. There we go. So it comes apart. The lace is going to go on this side. And this is the right side of the lace. I am just going to kind of tack it down. Uh, I hope I can stay in frame for, for these videos. I'm not used to having to make sure that where I'm working is, is in a specific spot. I'm not going to go right to the edge because I'm going to sew this on, but I want to kind of tack it down so that it doesn't move around when I'm when I'm sewing. I'm just using a Scotch Create glue stick just to tack it down. And actually, if I did go all the way to the edge, it it I have sewn through things that I've glued with that before, and it didn't hurt my machine at all. Okay, that looks like it's fairly, fairly centered. Now, my sewing machine is clear across the room over there, so I am going to put you on hold, go sew around all around the edge of this, and come right back. So hold on. Okay, that was a bit of a challenge because of the weird angles of this envelope, and I am not the best uh, stitcher, especially with uh, the zigzag stitch, but I think it came out okay. Uh, now I just need to cut around the edge. Best to do that from the inside so I can make sure I don't cut the envelope. And then what I'm going to do is I already have a piece cut to go on the inside of this envelope to kind of reinforce it. Oh, I probably should have done this off camera. This is quite boring to watch me cut cut lace. But bear with me. If I can figure out how to speed this up on my video editing software, I will do that. And if I keep talking, and it'll sound like a chipmunk on the video. I always think that's funny when people speed up their videos and the audio is still going and they sound like, um, what are those chipmunks from the, like the... 50s or Alvin. <laughs> Boy, this is probably not the best scissors for this. Should have got my fabric scissors over here. Okay. 
and there we go. There we have it. Um, and then we'll just be folding that back up when we're done. But before I do that, I'm going to put, I've already cut a piece to fit in here. First of all, let me ink the top edge that's going to show. I need a new sponge. This one, this one's got all kinds of little crispies coming off of it. So I'm just going to tack that down with some glue. And then I'm just going to probably straight stitch all the way around that. That will hold the fabric on um, in place on the, on the outside. So I'm going to put you on pause and go over and do that. Okay, now I've got that piece stitched in. I decided to continue with the zigzag um, on that part as well. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bothering me. I can kind of see where the where I put that um, glue stick down. It's just barely. I mean, if if you didn't notice, if you didn't see me do it, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. But it's bothering me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try. I have this um, like powder pouch that's for um, embossing. And I'm going to kind of dab that on there and see if that gets rid of the... Oh yeah, I think that's going to work. Yep, that's working. That's just enough to get rid of that shine. There. Okay, I feel better now. Alright, now... And I can't throw this away that I cut off because I can use that somewhere. That goes in the scrap bin. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and seal it up while I have you here. I'm going to use... Where did it go? Oh, I buried it. My Beacon 3-in-1 just to... Uh oh, it's doing that volcano thing. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Anybody knows how to make it stop doing that? Please let me know. I, I know there's some kind of bubble in there that once that bubble pops, it'll stop. Well, let me use it while it's coming out. I'm just going to go where the stitches are. And there. Seal it down. Now I want to make sure. I should have done this first. Just to up oh, and hold it. Hold it down there for a minute. Okay, the vo volcano stopped. I must have popped the bubble. Okay, and there we have it. And that just closes up. We have our lace covered envelope. Now what I want to do, of course I can't just leave it like that. I've got to decorate it up. Um, I'm thinking of some kind of focal point and then just surrounded by little bits of little bits and bobs of little pieces of lace. So let me see what I can I have this tray full of little bits of ephemera images printed out digitals so we're just well, that's too small I've got this card it's probably about the right size that I want to use but it's too dark and too manly for a lace envelope Oh, here's that image of the little girl and her dogs posing. 
I like that, but I think it's too small. So let's see what else we have in here. No, no. Oh, how about this? Yep, I think I like that. I like that one. It'll give me just enough room to put some laces and stuff around the edge. Um, so let me, let me get this out of the way. Let me go ahead and ink that up. There go all the little bits and pieces everywhere from my sponge. Okay. So I'm going to put that down right in the middle. Well, do I want it in the middle? Maybe I can put a little doily or something over here. I think I'm going to do that. I want it down here. I think I'm going to put it down here because this has the most empty space up there. I'm filming at night and I can hear a bug bouncing off of the screen on the window next to me. And it's freaking me out. Okay, that's not a bug. Okay, now I'm really freaked out. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause while I find out what that noise is outside my window. Hold on. Okay, um, I don't know what that was, but as soon as I stopped the camera, my dog started growling. I have turned on all of my outside lights now, outside of the house, so I don't know what that was, but hopefully it was just a critter or a big bug or something. Anyway, back to the envelope. Um, I've got that glued down. And now I want to just put some laces or decorations around it. Um, and I have, to, to my right is a one of those 10 drawer rolling carts with all the colorful drawers in them. And one of the drawers, and this is for my, my junk journals. It's got all my ephemera and my little pieces of scrap paper. Well, one of the things of scrap paper and one of the one of the drawers is little tiny scrap one of the things of little tiny scraps of stuff uh, that's left over from everything little bitty pieces so I'm gonna see dig into here and see what I can come up with to to decorate around that image and of course I want some some lace maybe scrunched up a little bit. I don't want it to be too dimensional because this will probably go in a pocket because I'd be afraid to clip it to something because a paper clip would get caught in the um, in the lace. So it's probably going to go into a pocket so I don't want it too dimensional but it's got to have some more lace. Maybe a little bit of a lace around there kind of scrunched up. This fell out put that down there too. I want it to be kind of kind of messy, haphazard. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? That's one thing I need to get used to, how far out I need to be, how close in I need to be. So bear with me as I struggle through um, doing this for the for the first time. Here's a a piece of a doily, which that would probably look nice up there. And see what, what else we have here. I want another piece of kind of a long piece of oh here's some some Valencian lace, a little piece of that. It looks like it used to be it used to be gathered. Whoops, well not anymore. I just ungathered it. Kind of put a little bit around there. I'm going to leave that there for now. And a little something. Maybe some cheesecloth. Some coffee stain. Che 
piece cloth. It's a little bit too much, I think. Too much. Mm, let's see. I'm not quite happy with that yet. What else do we have in here? I like, I like this with the this little piece of this somewhere. Be under this doily here. Hmm. Okay. Still not happy. Yeah, it's all about putting things in, taking them out until you get something that looks kind of what you're looking for. Or you get something totally new that you're just as happy with. I don't like that cheesecloth. I don't like that there. Okay. So let's put this down and see, see how I like that. And then something, a button or something is going to go in the middle of that. Let me see what I have for that. I have a, a little container here of little doilies. Kind of left over from some of the kits I've put together. What about that one? Nope, contrasting color. That's well, something a little bit lighter. We can like that. And maybe I'll put a cluster of buttons down here. All right, let's see. Let's start putting something down. I'm going to start on this side here. And I need to put some tape or something around so I can so I can know exactly where I need to be to be seen. This is going to be just kind of crinkled around here. I should probably I could probably use art glitter glue because it tends to hold light laces like this pretty well. Let's see, I'm just scrunching it up. Um, maybe I'll put that cheesecloth down here instead. Because I wasn't really happy with that white piece there. Yeah, I think I like that better. And here I'm going I am going to use the art glitter glue. So cuz it will show through this and it dries this dries clear. Come back here. Okay. Kind of looks like the bird is in a nest with that there. All right, now I'm going to go back to my Beacon 3-in-1 and kind of crinkle this darker one. Kind of continuing where the lighter one stopped. And get kind of ruffled. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, that makes me nervous when the dog's barking in the middle of the night. I, wish I shouldn't have cut that. I want to go further up. Well, I still. Uh, okay, now I hear a car. A car. Oh, it's somebody next door. That's what that is. Forgive me. Forgive the dog barking. It's a hazard of filming when you have animals. I'm surprised one of my cats hasn't wandered through yet.
Okay. Yeah, I can hear somebody next door coming or, go or going. Okay, let's see if I still if I'm still happy with this. All right. I'm going to put this piece down. Actually, this part I'm going to do with the art glitter glue because it has such a fine tip I can get on those little those little strings. I love this stuff. Okay. Put that down there. Put this doily down. You know, I think I'm going to do this with the art glitter glue too. So I can, because I don't want the glue to show. I think once I finish this, I will quit for this video for now because it is, oh no, I still have time. I kind of covered up that other one. So there we go. Let's get this guy down. Oh, go strings. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Can you see it? Oops. Now I want to put some, maybe some buttons down here. And I have, I pulled out a lot, uh, quite a few of the buttons from that tin that have the thread already on them. So that makes it fast. And some different, that one has too much thread on it, it won't lay down flat. Maybe a little one. Maybe something with a darker color. This little cl cluster in the corner there. Oops, oh sorry, I'm out of frame. Mm, let me see. Nope. Okay, I think I will go with that. These I will use the Beacon 3 and 1. The dog is still growling over there. I don't know if you can still hear her. You know, when you live alone, you know, things that go bump in the night kind of scare me sometimes. You can't. But I have a security system. I have a pit bull dog. And I also have a firearm in my nightstand. So I think I'm covered. The firearm is absolutely last resort. Okay. Uh, but I do know how to use it for. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I am retired Army. I served 21 years in the Army. So I'm familiar with firearms. There we go. Okay, let's see. Do I need anything else? Um, trying to think of if I need anything on maybe the flap in the back. No, I think I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want it to be too, too bumpy. I'm going to keep pressing on this to make sure that's tied down securely. So there's the first element for, for my, um, my, what am I going to call this? My Vintage Linens uh, Junk Journal. So there's the first element uh, and my first craft with me. 
Uh, I hope you <laughs> hope I didn't bore you to tears and I didn't fumble too much but there you have it that's all I have for now um, I'll be back again with some uh, pockets for the for the journal but bye for now